from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're talking rain. You know, today was our first dry day. Although most of us were dry yesterday, there were some areas that picked up some morning showers and some afternoon thunderstorms. Rain returning to the forecast. Tomorrow, I think, is going to be one of the days where most of us get a good soaking. Folks on the eastern shore looking like that rain may be a little less there. And then heading into Saturday, I dropped down our rain to just a slight chance. I don't think this is going to be overwhelming. There's going to be so many breaks in the clouds and in the showers that most folks are going to stay dry. There's just going to be a little bit of moisture here. And then Sunday, into Monday, we're looking at another decent shot of seeing more rain, unfortunately, to end your Mother's Day. But let's get you through the next 24 hours where I'm expecting us to start off uh, mainly dry, partly cloudy, temperatures in the low 50s, upper 40s, depending on where you are. And as we head into the afternoon, we're going to be watching this energy start to build out west. I still have us dry through lunchtime with those showers pushing eastward as we head into the 4 to 6 o'clock hours. So that's going to start to arrive while folks are trying to rush home and get their weekend started. So Get a little bit slower on the roads tomorrow uh, just so that we can limit the amount of accidents on those roadways. And then notice how most of the eastern shore really misses out on it with the exception of just some sprinkles. The clouds temperatures falling into the lower 50s as we head into the evening hours and our totals here are displaying the fact that the eastern shore is going to look pretty dry with the exception of just some limited moisture everywhere else on the western side of the bay. We're talking about a quarter inch to a half inch could see some areas pick up slightly more than that if we see some training, but we're not concerned about flooding potential as precipitable water values are not high enough to conduce uh, to induce flooding. Heading into Saturday morning, we're looking at partly cloudy skies, limited moisture as this low pressure system will be lifting off towards the north and east. As we head into the afternoon, those flows continue light and moisture, not overwhelming sprinkles. If you have any plans to be outdoors, I would keep it in the in the plans uh, because anything that falls is going to be light and short lived with partly cloudy skies lingering through the afternoon and early evening hours clearing as we head into the overnight hours. So our hour breakdown has that slight chance of showers, not overwhelming at all for your Saturday. Temperatures though will be a little bit cool while the clouds are there. I do think we top out at about 64 degrees, which will make it the coolest day of the weekend. Sunday, we get a little bit milder. We're looking at that chance of showers, especially the second half of Sunday into your Monday. Temperatures getting into the upper 60s, some breezy winds as that system starts to push on out. We're looking at winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour, 69 degrees and sunny for your Wednesday and another chance of showers returning on Thursday.